Okay. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming and um, for being on time as well. And we apologize for we're starting a few minutes late. Please bear with us. Um, just before we start, we'd like you all to introduce yourselves to one or two people and just um, maybe share why tonight is important to you with the people that you um, say hello to and introduce yourselves to. So this is going to be the first. Should I say, don't, don't introduce yourself to the person sitting beside you, just to get everybody moving a bit. <laughs> so find, find someone, find someone three, three steps away from you or three rows away. name that they didn't know before they came in. Any volunteers? You want to tell us some? Yeah, okay. You tell us some. Oh, okay. Okay, so Hope is very hopeful tonight. Okay, round of applause for Hopeful Hope. <laughs> okay, any other, any other volunteers? Okay. All right, thank you very much. Is that the only person that got the gentle policeman's details? No, he's not here to arrest anybody, so it's fine. Feel, feel free to, to say hello, because I, I can see that he didn't get his name, so I'm wondering if anybody else got his name. Oh, you did? Okay. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. So, <laughs> you're welcome, Dermot. All right, a, a round of applause for Sergeant Dermot as well. A, and our volunteers, thank you. Um, Tonight is a beautiful evening. Um, our reason to be here may not necessarily be as beautiful as we would have loved it to be, a beautiful story as we would have loved it to. But the good thing about tonight is that hopefully the events of today will kickstart changing that story so that in the nearest future we can start to have a more beautiful story about our community. I'm very positive that every one of us here tonight we're concerned about the way things have been and the way things are going at the moment. Um, I mean, I personally, myself, oh, I should introduce myself for those that may not know. My name is um, GB. I'm, how would I put it now? I have a few, very few hats, a very few hats. <laughs> so I, I like to call myself a, a fruit basket. Yeah, someone once said to me, don't be a jack of all trades. And I said, well, um, okay, I won't be a jack of all trades, but I'll be a fruit basket. So go into the fruit basket. If you want an apple, pick it. If you want a banana, go for it. And if you want everything, make a smoothie and be happy. So um, that's how I've carried on. And one of the hats that I wear is that I run a, a community of mothers. And um, it's, you know, basically advocating for positive parenting, advocating, because I strongly believe that parenting is a powerful tool that we can use to change the world. And just a few years ago, I suppose as things were happening, I started to see that we were heading towards a difficult time as a community. Um, and one of the things that, you know, within my own space and with the community that I I run that we've tried to do is start up a summer program to engage our youths, you know, in productive activities and just let them see that there's so much more ahead of them. I, you know, I personally feel the three months is a lot of time to keep young men and women in the house sleeping and playing games. And uh, one of my other beliefs is that teenagers aren't, if I had my way, I would knock out teenagers from, the word teenager from the parenting dictionary. Because what I see are adults that have no life experiences. They have a function in mind, they have a function in brain, they have the energy, they have so much working for them. But 
with the way things have been, they unfortunately aren't able to use those um, to their to the best advantage, and that's why why we're where we are at today. But um, hopefully, with with these conversations and with this awareness, particularly and especially as a lot of us are now fully aware that there is a situation, I refuse to call it um, a problem, that there is a situation in our community that we can collectively start to do something and start to do a lot more. That if I do my bit and we all do our individual bits, that we can start to see changes. So I'm very hopeful that tonight will be um, a positive one, um, that the educator will be and, uh, enlightening and um, mind opening as well. And uh, once again, I thank you all. I'd like to call on Peter to give us a welcome. If we, if we could please put our hands together for him. He has been working um, so hard the last few weeks, and not just even the last few weeks, over the years. I must say that Peter has been very passionate about our community and in his own way, in so many ways, has been working to um, ensure positivity in our community. Thank you, Peter, for all you. Thank you, Jamie.